Hi folks, Pete here from Ashton's Cars and today I'm showing you around one of the classiest convertibles I think, uh, the Mercedes E-Class convertible, in this case an E350 CDI uh, in sport spec. Now if you're buying an E-Class um, you will find that there's four cylinder and six cylinder diesel models and obviously a whole load of petrols from, uh, from four cylinders all the way up to the big V8s. Uh, this is the six-cylinder diesel, and in my opinion, it gives the best combination between performance and re relatively low running costs because it's still capable of high 30s in the miles per gallon. So um, it's a six-cylinder diesel V6 engine. Uh, it's very smooth. It means that you haven't got the sort of diesel sound really. It isn't a rattly sort of sound to it. I'm just realising. So now I've got leaves on the spoiler there. Makes it looks like it's got marks on it, but hasn't. It's in very, very good shape, this car is. Uh, it's recently come into us. It's done just about 100,000 miles. And we've been uh, waiting for a nice sunny day like today, relatively sunny anyway, to, uh, to get the top down on it, which I'll do in just a second for you. But yeah, the, uh, while the four-cylinder diesels are a very good engine, the, the 220s and the, the 250s are a robust diesel they have got a bit more of a diesel chatter to them they do sound a little bit agricultural sometimes and with this being quite a classy car i prefer the more muted tone tone of that v6 diesel that's in this uh, in this 350 model so that's why in my opinion this is the one to have showing you around the car there's not really anything to point out in terms of uh, any real marks or damage on it. It's got the Parktronic system, so it's got front, front and rear parking sensors. And uh, roof's in good condition. Alloys, not too bad. A couple of little grazes on the very edges of the rims, but overall pretty good. The only real mark I saw was, just down by here, I'll zoom in on it. There's a very small little mark by there. Looks like a stone chip or something like that. But it's easy, something that will probably buff out with a bit of polish in fairness so we'll probably do that but uh, yeah I wanted to get some photos and a video done of it today it's been raining for days here it's due to fog the forecast is due to rain again for another few days this is like the nice little bit in between with some actual blue sky over there which is quite quite sought after here in Wales you don't see it very often so without further ado let's get the top down while it's dry uh, and show you a bit more Just to show you, really, really classy interior on it with two plus two seating. Nice stitching on the leather. Not really any massive excessive wear there, considering it's done 100,000 miles. Be careful on some of these mercs. This has got proper leather seats, but some of the cheaper ones do have a leverette seating and that tends to split. So the proper leather is a lot more sought after. And with this being a, a sport model, it's got a slightly nicer, better quality interior than uh, some of the lesser models in the range. So, jump inside, obviously we've got those frameless door windows. We're we'll scoot back up into the, into their frames there and isolate you from the outside. Lovely layout in here, it's got plenty of space. I mean, I love it because it's quite a big car, this, even though it's a convertible, there's plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom and even a bit of space in the rear, uh, should you want to take passengers back there. So let's start her up. Startup sequence, as you can see. Nice even idle. I don't know how well that sound transmits onto the video, but it's, it's a sweet sounding engine. You can still tell it's a diesel, but it doesn't have any clatter to it. It's a more gruff sounding V6. Almost quite a pleasant sound, dare I say it, for a diesel. So we've got the traditional E-Class um, infotainment and heating controls here. They're really easy to use. It's got separate controls for the passenger and the driver. The stereo is great and we've got heated seats as well, which I absolutely love. Now, um, something that uh, you don't get on all of these is the navigation. So be careful if you're looking at these. Sometimes you'll press that navigation button and it'll just come up with a message saying that uh, it's not available because the navigation module was a cost option on some of these Mercedes. So if you want navigation, just press the button, make sure that the map comes up like that. It has also got Bluetooth telephone system, 
obviously a decent stereo system um, and a traditional CD should you wish to uh, to use actual CDs in here so um, zoom out this car's got the darker wood finish which I prefer you can get some lighter wood trims I think they look a little bit old-fashioned though now so I quite like the finish that we've got in here it's got the proper fitted floor mats as well they are original mats they've got AMG written on them and this is not an AMG model but nevertheless I think the, you do get a lot of AMG badges I think the wheels have got AMG badges on them as well from factory so it's not something that we've tacked onto it um, if I just press OK by here you'll see that I've got a digital speedometer and it also doubles up as a trip computer that and I've got a seven speed semi-automatic transmission with paddles so I can use it manually or automatic and it's got sport mode as well as an economy mode on the, the gearbox which is selected through this little button by here all my main sort of iDrive system is through this switch by here that operates this screen um, again it's pretty straightforward and you have got buttons here as well which do the the main sort of functions but you can do a lot more with this iDrive type system and something else I need to show you is that actually we've got a secret compartment here which we flip that's the roof panel so a uh, roof control so I'm now gonna pull the roof back and show you what it's like with the roof down pull it back like that up comes the back and it should stow away nicely under its little tonneau cover there it goes I guess it's about 20, 25 seconds from start to finish that roof function. So it's not the quickest one, but it is quite a big roof and it's quite a complicated mechanism. And there we are, the windows go up flush like that and the, this whole thing's complete. Um, without further ado, let's have a look at the outside of this car now that I've got that roof off because it really does make it look fantastic. Let's go in there quick. Look at those lines now. Obviously, this is a car that's meant to have the roof off. It looks all the better for it. I love the fact that we've still got these sort of haunches here, which, which go behind the headrest. That looks really cool. You've even got speakers, I think, behind there, which is quite strange. Coming around here. Obviously, you will tell a 350 model over the uh, lesser siblings because it hasn't got any badging on it, but you can tell where those are exhausts. It's got twin exhausts on it. Denoting the more powerful of those diesel engines. And yeah, stunning, stunning lines from Mercedes. They've always made classy convertibles. I mean, the CLKs were a beautiful car. Uh, this kind of replaced them, although Mercedes sort of dropped the CLK name and didn't admit that this was its replacement. Um, but in my opinion, it's continued that bloodline perfectly. It's a little bit bigger than the old CLK was, but if you owned a CLK, you will pretty much feel at home when you jump behind the wheel of an E-Class convertible. It's a classy tool, this. It's certainly, a, you know, got room for two adults in the back for shorter journeys. Plenty of room for kids if, you, uh, if you've got children in the back of it so it's it's pretty practical it's even got a decent sized boot on it um i love them they drive really well and the performance is absolutely phenomenal way way more power there than you would ever expect in a diesel convertible and you'll enjoy it and even the sound of it well it's quite muted hopefully you can tell that from the video so if it's of interest to you please give us a shout my name is peter my number is 07932873646 and we have the car available for nationwide delivery as well as we're happy to take your old car as part of exchange so of course let me know what you've got and i'll be happy to work out a deal to suit you my number one more time is 07932 873 646 please feel free to give us a call let us know what sort of deal you're hoping to do with delivery part of exchange and we will try and make it happen for you but thanks ever so much for watching guys i hope it's been of interest and please give us a like a share and subscribe to our channel for more car buying advice more cars videos like this of cars we've got available for delivery and uh hope we see you very soon bye for now